Hi, in this tutorial, we will add a follow through and overlapping action to the elastic swaying cube, uh, which I did for a previous tutorial. Uh, you can find a link to that tutorial in the video description. Now, what this means is that as the cable swings the cube in one direction and changes to the other side, uh, the cube will also rotate along with it. And then we can also delay or offset the rotation of the cube slightly, and that will increase the effect of the overlapping action. Now, this is one of the 12 principles of animation and can be useful for adding more realism or for making the motion less rigid and more fluid, uh, which can be pleasant to watch. All right, so let's get started. All right, first let's uh, select the cube. And as you can see, the origin is in its center, uh, but we want it at the point of uh, contact with the cable. Uh, so first of all, let's select the empty here. Let's hit Shift S on the keyboard and let's select Keza to select it. All right, now let's select the cube. Let's right click on it and then let's head over to Set Origin and let's um, select Origin to 3D Keza. And next, we want to copy the F curve uh, modifier on the support empty to the Y rotation of the cube. Now to do this, uh, let's first head over to frame one and let's um, head over to the Y rotation, right click on it and select insert single keyframe. All right, so now let's uh, select the support empty and let's head over to the graph editor and copy the F modifiers by clicking on this button. And next, let's select the cube and let's make sure we have only the Y Euler rotation selected. And let's head over to the Modifiers tab and click on Paste F Modifiers. And now if we should uh, play the animation, as you can see, uh, we have some slight uh, follow through and overlapping action on the cube. All right, now to increase the effect of this, I'm gonna head over back to the Modifiers and increase the amplitude 2.3. And let's also increase the overlapping action uh, by um, delaying the rotation of the cube to that of the empty. And so we are going to set this to a value of minus 1.5 and this will shift the uh, graph of the uh, rotation for the cube to the right, okay? And so now if we play the animation, as you can see, uh, the follow through and overlapping action is much exaggerated. All right, now let's uh, reduce this uh, so that we have a more realistic uh, result. So let's set this to 0.2 for the amplitude and let's set the phase offset to about minus 0.7. And next, let me bring back my background in the background collection and let's uh, hide the show gizmos and let's also hide the show overlays and let's select the viewport shading and let's hit zero on the numpad and let's play the animation from the start. And as you can see, this looks really, really cool. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. This is the last video in the series for the swaying elastic motion. Uh, stay tuned for another simple animation tutorial series to be released soon. Uh, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification to get notified when I release a new video.